there's a lot of species that can benefit from a natural shoreline like you see here. But one I'd like to highlight is the dragonfly. There's a lot of different species of dragonflies that live in Michigan. And they rely on this vegetation that grow near the shores of ponds, streams, rivers, and lakes. Um, first of all, they need to mate on vegetation, so a lot of times they'll land on some of these that are poking out of the water, like arrowhead or white pond lily. And they'll mate, and then they lay their eggs, and they lay them under the water. So baby dragonflies, which we call larvae or nymphs, they don't look like the dragonflies we see flying around. They actually spend most of their lifetime in this larval form and um, they, they grow up underwater in this larval stage. And I've got an example right here. This is what a dragonfly larva looks like. They grow up in the sediment, under rocks, and under woody vegetation, underwater. So that's important to know too, that the stuff under the water that we might deem as annoying, like logs or rocks, are actually really important habitat for different insect larvae. So after this guy has spent one to three years in his larval form, he will crawl up a stem of bulrush like this and do exactly what he did. He clung on and started changing into that dragonfly that we're familiar with, with the four wings that zooms around ponds and streams. So their shell actually stays on this bulrush and we're able to see what the larva looks like. Uh, why do we love dragonflies so much? Well, not only are they cool to watch as they zoom around ponds, but they're also important as they eat a lot of mosquitoes. And who can argue that? So when you're, when you're preserving the natural shoreline along your lake or pond or river, you're helping increase different insect populations that can prey on mosquitoes.